Hey guys and welcome to another tutorial for Microsoft Flight Simulator and this time I'm going to be introducing you to the world of VATSIM. Uh, VATSIM is a virtual air traffic control all over the world and if you're looking to take your flight simulation experience to the next level and add some ultimate realism then VATSIM is the way to go. The default air traffic control in Microsoft Flight Simulator leaves a lot to be desired and there is nothing like doing a flight with a live air traffic controller guiding you uh, just as in the real world, following real world procedures using correct air traffic control terminology which all sounds very very daunting but first of all what I want to get you doing is logging onto VATSIM to go and observe what's actually happening at an airport so you can see how easy it is just to uh, to get on there and s look for yourself and to become familiar with uh, with the world of VATSIM so the first thing you need to do is you need to download the uh, client which connects you to the VATSIM network which for Microsoft Flight Simulator is the vPilot. So head to the vPilot website, click download and download the latest version. Once that's done, you've obviously got it there on your desktop but do not launch it, not yet anyway. The first thing you need to do is launch Microsoft Flight Simulator. So get that all launched up and uh, the next thing to do would be to find an airport which has currently got a controller working there and some traffic as well. Now I've just had a quick look online. There are several ways to do this. Um, if you're using a smartphone you can download several apps. I use one called VATSCAN and that shows all over the world all the controllers that are currently online, which areas they're covering and also other pilots that are online as well. And a quick look at that tells me that there is a lot of traffic at Los Angeles International Airport at the moment. So what I've already done is I have loaded up Microsoft Flight Simulator and we are currently sat well out of the way on uh, one of the far distant ramp parking gates at the, uh, at the west side of the airport. Now that's very very important. Do not go and park yourself at the threshold of a runway or worse on the active runway you need to start well out the way because when you click and connect to the VATSIM network you're going to see lots of other airplanes around you and they are real people just like you that will be flying around and the last thing they want to see is you suddenly appear on uh, on the middle of the runway that they're about to land on and the air traffic controller on duty will not be very pleased with you so park yourself well out of the way like I've done here we're uh, as I say we're at the western side of uh, of LAX and the weather is very very foggy it's a lovely effect though that's another key thing need to mention you need to make sure that when you are flying on flat VATSIM you need to use the live weather feature that is so that you are using the same weather as everybody else the same winds uh, because obviously the air traffic controllers will be giving you vectors to runways that depend on the f weather conditions and the wind conditions uh, so make sure you're using live weather the other thing you need to do when you start your flight is turn off all AI traffic you don't want any AI traffic at all so none of the multiplayer traffic for Microsoft Flight Simulator and none of the live traffic that, uh, that you can also get on Flight Simulator because the vPilot and VATSIM network will show you the traffic of all the other pilots that are currently, currently connected to VATSIM at that moment in time. So here we are if I bring the vPilot client back up uh, actually I've made a mistake there because I've just launched it here from my uh, from the toolbar. I'm going to close that down and I'll tell you why because it is very important that you actually launch it and run it as administrator. So always make sure you're running it as uh, administrator that way there's uh, there's not usually any problems with your microphone or anything like that. 
So this will be the, uh, the first box you get. The first time you run it, it will do a little check of your computer and search for your flight simulator. And it will also search for aircraft models within your flight simulator. It needs to see those so that it can show you the other uh, pilots that are logged onto the network and show you the AI traffic. So once it's finished doing that, we'll just head into the settings you need to add in your VATSIM ID your VATSIM password your home airport and select which server usually the one closest to you is the one you want to be uh, the one you want to be choosing um, notifications we can just leave all those on now the other thing first thing you need to do if you are going to be using a microphone you don't have to you can use text for VATSIM but if you are using a microphone to get real realism then under the audio just make sure that when you talk your microphone level is set so it's falling mostly within this green bar mine actually just keeps peaking a little bit doesn't it into the red so i'm going to turn that down just a little bit and make sure that we're not uh, we're not making sure the controls are hearing me a little bit too much there we go that seems uh, that seems better for the most part so we'll leave that there and then you need to select a push to talk key so that is obviously what it sounds like you can't map it as far as i'm aware to a button on your flight yoke or your side stick it has to be a key on your keyboard so i've got mine set to the uh, to the caps lock just because that's not mapped to anything within flight simulator so there's no conflictions uh, no conflictions there okay we can uh, we can get rid of that now <coughs> All right, so what we're going to do is uh, go to the flight plan page, and I've already set this up. Look, we're at Los Angeles, KLAX, and we want to log in, but just tell the controller that we're not actually going to be doing anything other than observing, so he knows that he can just leave us alone. We're there not to move around the airfield. We're just going to have a listen to what's going on, to spend some time learning the ropes as to what's what's happening so just fill in here we're going to do it as a vfr flight even though we're not flying anywhere uh we're going to stay on the ground and listen so departure airport lax departure airport lax and then just put in the remarks here new vatsim pilot just observing that way the air traffic control online will see this and uh, and leave us alone now you can't file the flight plan yet because we're not connected to the network so let's connect to the VATSIM network to do that click the connect button and I've just made up a call sign here for my little Cessna November Golf Zulu Alpha Zulu and you need to type your code in here the Cessna 172 uh, even if you are typing that in I'll show you it actually brings up a list so you can select that from there and, uh, and hit connect okay so we're connected now to the voice server and that's it you are online with VATSIM and if we have a look around we may just see some other pilots I say that looking and straining hard into the fog I can't see a thing there's nothing else moving around just here but we are parked well out of the way so there could well be other aircraft uh, there you can get the drone cam and go and have a uh, go and have a look around because they will be there however if we now hop into the cockpit we're going to tune to the tower frequency and uh, have a listen what's going on so on your left hand side here it shows you who is currently online within the range of your aircraft <coughs> so we've got a couple of center frequencies here which obviously you're not going to use whilst you're on the ground We've got uh, an approach frequency here, and we've got Los Angeles Tower and Los Angeles Ground. We've also got the ATIS for Los Angeles, so if we were going to do a flight, the first thing you would need to do is listen to the ATIS. Now, you can either key in the frequency or, just for quickness, double-click it, and it will bring you the ATIS here. 
and it actually tells you what you need to do. You need to read back all hold short instructions, contact ground for push, and advise that you have information Oscar. Again, that is if you were going to be doing uh, doing an actual flight. So always worth reading the ATIS because that will give you the information that you need to give the controller when you first contact them. So let's listen to the ground frequency, which is 121.75. the cockpit <coughs> and one two one decimal seven five and you ramp the uh, we go. Charlie and we'll just turn left here and we'll hold here for United Okay, so they are live pilots. Southern Skywest 3163 on Echo for Terminal 5. Skywest 3163 on the ground, good evening. Taxi ramp via Echo. Okay, I'll, I'll just switch frequencies there so I can talk, otherwise you're going to be listening to uh, to the pilots, which is great. That's what we want you to do. We want you to sit and listen to other pilots and learn the language, learn the lingual, learn what's expected before... Uh, before actually starting to uh, to use the network to to fly if you need to check that you've got the right frequency obviously your frequencies are listed here but it's very clever you can see the com frequency that i've got it changed to at the minute is 124 decimal 85 and it says that just there the moment i swap that back to the ground frequency for lax it shows it up here as well see when uh, when somebody else is talking, either the controller or another pilot. Well, I'm to I'm Delta sixteen thirty one heavy request PDC. The receiving icon flashes up just there. Sixteen thirty one ground. Good evening, PDC requested. Stand by. So there you go. You're on the network and then it's up to you you can change frequencies to listen to some of the others we've got the tower frequency one two zero decimal nine five key that one in uh, I'll ground the deal change that one two zero decimal nine five there we go and you can just double check that's changed properly for you It's nice and quiet at the moment, isn't it? So, as I look on the uh, the app that I've got on my phone, there's actually a lot of aircraft on the ground at uh, at LAX at the moment. So, I'm going to just change back to the ground frequency. Southwest 2106, exit left to enable, cross 24 left, contact ground 12175, see ya. 12175, one crossing 24 left, southwest 2106, see ya. Okay, well I'm going to contact 12175 now. And when you've got the courage, you can make your first transmission to a live air traffic controller. And all we're going to do is we're going to ask for a radio check, uh, which is basically asking the controller, can you read me, can you hear what I'm saying, and is the quality of my transmission good enough for you to, uh, to understand. So all I'm going to do is, when I'm ready, I'm going to key the microphone, which you can see up here just there. I'm not actually doing that on a live frequency at the moment, so nothing's getting transmitted to anybody. Uh, yeah, I'm going to key that once I've set it to the ground, and I'm just going to ask the ground controller uh, for a radio check. Now remember, I set the call sign for my aircraft as November Golf Zulu Alpha Zulu. All we're going to say is uh, uh, ground Cessna November Golf Zulu Alpha Zulu requesting radio check and he'll respond back hopefully saying that he can hear us loud and clear which uh, in aviation terms he'll probably just say readability 5 so let's have a go 121 decimal 75 just double checking that now 121 decimal 75 <coughs> and you obviously don't need to be in uh, or rather out of the Microsoft Flight Simulator. You don't need this window open at all. You can just leave that running in the background. Uh, so, let's do that. Los Angeles Ground, Cessna November Golf, Zulu Alpha Zulu, requesting radio check, please. November Golf, Zulu Alpha Zulu, LA Ground, good evening, loud and clear. Thank you. 
Well, there it is. That's the first communication Looks that like many pilots, that many new Vatsim pilots make when logging on to Vatsim for the first time. And I can tell you, the first time I did that, I was nervous because you are talking to a real live air traffic controller. That's somebody sat in, uh, in their home space working on a scope, just like a real air traffic controller. He's there controlling traffic, you're here flying. Uh, but once it all works together like that, it's a great feeling. Hope you found this useful and uh, coming up soon I'll try and get some uh, tutorials online with, uh, with a live flight using VATSIM. So bye bye for now.